it's Sarah, and today I want to talk to you about using boom cards during your speech therapy session. They are so interactive and fun, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use them. I'm going to show you now my boom store. I have slowly started adding boom materials to my um, to my storefront here little by little just over the past few months. Let's do this one. Okay, so you get to a main page and you click. And this is one of the cool things that I like about Boom is that there's the ability to click and that's how you advance to the next page. And if you share mouse control, and which is something you can do on Zoom, that's how you advance to the next slide. So you can have students click and be interactive about answering questions. So um, if they make a mistake, there's a, a whoop sound. But if they get the right answer, it kind of wiggles back and forth and you move to the next slide. So with this one, what I had done was um, try to extend that discussion about who and talk about what certain professionals do. And so um, the technician is try and trying to have the person consider what happened in that picture. The technician is fixing the heater. And then I present kind of a wrap up. He is a technician. The technician is fixing the heater. So you go to the next one. And again, here we have um, somebody, you know, let's see, we see with these who questions a prop. So in the previous one, it was like a heater or some kind of devices that he was checking on. Here we have somebody with a camera. This might be some new vocab for certain students. They might not know the word photographer, but I think it's one that they should learn. So extending that discussion, what does a photographer do? Um, and she is taking a photo. So, and this also gives you that model of those two lengthy sentences. She's a photographer. The photographer is taking a photo. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at the five picture digital sequence. So you can click here and we can talk about things that people do in the order in which they do them. So what's the first thing you need to do when you are writing a letter? Well, you first need to write that letter. And that's number one. First, the girl writes a letter. And you can talk about this. What do you think the next thing should be? Well, she's not going to mail it, so we know it's not that one. Hmm, she's going to probably lick the envelope. She's going to seal the letter. She licks the envelope to seal it. Hmm, and then you have to have kids kind of think about what could be next? Writing the address. Now it's ready with the stamp and you are ready to mail it. And I like this one because um, it gives you an extra opportunity on the, this page to retell again. And I put a little prompt here to help students remember the words that they need to use to go um, one by one and um, talk about each picture. All right. And lastly, I'm just going to quickly talk a little bit about my Spanish uh, resources. I do speak Spanish and have worked in Spanish for 14 years um, with students that speak Spanish. So we often see students who struggle to maybe lengthen their utterance. And I chose this short one with the short syllables, but with this series, I have two and three, as you can see here, three and four, and four and five. So cuantas sílabas, two or three. So again, if you click the wrong one, it will give you that whoops. And you could get that extra opportunity to look at the two syllables in the word cama. Here we've got a three syllable word, bandera. And we just click to advance little by little. 
So I think that you can see here how useful boom cards can be in, in your, your therapy because of the ability for things to move quickly, the sounds, uh, the interactive nature of boom cards. So if you have any questions about boom cards, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.